Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Big news came out of Daily Wire yesterday. Matt Walsh's children's book, Johnny the Walrus, became the number one best-selling book on all of Amazon. If you don't know about Matt's book, it is about a little boy who gets it in his head that he wants to become a walrus and his very nice loving parents say, no, you are a human child. You cannot be a walrus. It triggers people per usual, even though it is just such a sweet little children's book. That is the book that became the number one bestseller on Amazon yesterday. But we could not have done that without the generous help of Amazon employees themselves. This is like the Disney leaked footage 2.0. Like this is even better. So this time, Footage was leaked from an Amazon call where employees were literally having a meltdown over Matt's book. Ah! We're all gonna die! Ah! This is like some Amazon employee like screen captured this and that's how it was leaked. It's just fantastic. Let's get into it. The uh, recommendations that this customer received and that other customers frequently reach out to us about that they're receiving. It's about a book called Johnny the Walrus. And I want to be very clear, the next two are about books. And I saw someone say, oh, joy, we're going to talk about one of them because it's been it's been a very traumatic experience for transgender Amazonians and our <laughs> transgender right. customers. Hold on. Do you guys hear that? We need to go back. It's been a very traumatic experience for transgender Amazonians. <laughs> transgender Amazonians. Wouldn't it be Amazonians? He's saying Amazonians like the Amazon people, right? That's cultural appropriation. They need to check themselves. Johnny the Walrus is a bit of a problematic book. Uh, not a bit. It's one hell of a problem. Um, and I would preface this about what the book's about, but the customer we're going to listen to does a great job. So I didn't know we were going to uh, hear a customer. Let's go ahead and listen to this customer. I just checked your website. She sounds awful. And the book is still up on there i hate to tell you but it is by matt walsh it is teaching kids to kill well to bully transgenders yeah to to bully them into committing suicide the LGBT she hasn't read the book now the author matt walsh just tweeted this yesterday morning at 804 a.m I now have the number one anti-LGBT book in the country. Any further criticism of me or my book is homophobic. Check <laughs> that was a good mate. tweet. You are selling a manual to how to teach kids to bully other kids to commit suicide. Does this lady not have anything better to do? Also, on the side, it says customer, but we know that this lady's name is Karen. Like, it has to be. She's the LGBTQ Karen. Like, this woman has obviously not read the book. It's like this, it's like the same scenario with the parental rights and education bill or the don't say gay bill, where people were screaming about it for the last month and a half, when clearly they have not even read the bill. It's the same thing with Johnny the Walrus. Nowhere in the book does it discuss LGBTQ anything, does not talk about killing kids or bullying or anything. These people have so little going on in their lives, so little, so few problems that they just decide to make a mountain of them so that they can feel important. In a coffee table book. I know that that was, you know, cringe to listen to, but there's more. So this is after the phone call has finished with a customer. Now we're getting back to the employees. So Johnny the Walrus this book takes the form of a children's book. It's like a cardboard, you know, like preschool style book. Wait, hold on. This person talking sounds like a man, but it, it, they're dressed like a woman. Look at the person talking. This person looks like your quintessential, like middle school guidance counselor, but then listen to the voice that comes out. You saw in the- That is a man! Customer contact, how uh, she was talking about- <laughs> It's a freaking man. What the hell is even that? <clears throat> I got distracted. Let's actually hear what this man has to say. <laughs> the book made it to number one bestseller in LGBTQ books. And actually, I think it was number four of all books for uh, a day. Um, now number one, which is? It's bad faith. It's basically abuse of Amazon systems to promote their particular brand of hate and harm on the community. Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Taking advantage of the Amazon systems 
No. All Matt did was write a children's book, have it be published, put it on Amazon to be distributed, and people are buying it. People buying a book because they want to read it is not abusive or hacking your little system. He literally did what every other author did, except he's much more successful because people are fed up with the woke BS. It's that simple. Not everything that doesn't go your way is abusive. Newsflash. No, I don't want to talk about it. I, I don't. I don't want to talk about anything. Well, that we're will you talk about. about it? But yes, I will. Yeah, that's kind of how life works. A lot of times we don't want to do the things that, you know, we have to do. Like this man, clearly Matt Walsh is haunting his nightmares. I love the like pregnant pauses that are happening at this moment in time where <laughs> they're like, it's still being sold. They can't even speak because of how horrified they are. The other part of this that is equally disturbing is um, Matt Walsh is getting ready to release, um, I believe, um, a book called What is a Woman? And there's he also a, a, a documentary that comes with it. It, 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 I, Jamie Lee shared some information with me <laughs> about the, the movie um the documentary that's going along with it but people are already talking about it he tricked this man is speechless one man's journey to answer the question i mean like does like, like let's just back up for, for a second and say does a man even belong in this conversation no he doesn't that's ironic to say considering there are two men leading this conversation right now this guy's a man and this one is a is a man pretending to be a woman this is there are two men leading the conversation it's ironic He's not even letting the fake woman speak. Patriarchy. <laughs> Y'all, the lack of self-awareness on this Amazon call. No words. It's not even on sale yet, and it's number one in women's studies. Damn right it is. This is a case of someone exploiting our systems, right? Our systems aren't, like, they're not set up to catch you know, they can, you know, the self-publishing authors, they can categorize. The Amazon systems aren't set up to catch conservatives. The next thing they're going to do is they're going to change their system that is too easily exploitable to make sure that they're filtering out all of the conservative stuff. I guarantee that's what their next move is going to be. They're going to have like little red flags and trigger warnings over these books. Yeah, I want to, sh I just. I'm oh sorry. Oh my God, he's crying. Oh my I, God, he's I want to preface hard. this with. I want to preface this with, I also saw someone mention that this is really tough content. And if you're transgender, if you're gender non-binary. I mean, like, look at these people. Th they look like this is the worst day of their lives. It's like a conservative being successful. Matt Walsh being successful is so triggering to them that it like makes them want to die. Like they need to have a will in place, but Lucky for all of you, actually, my new sponsor is Epic Will. EpicWill.com is our new partner here at Daily Wire. They are protecting us, our entire staff. So you can go to EpicWill.com, use code COOPER for 10% off of your package. They make the process so easy. It is literally five minutes. And then you can get back to watching my videos knowing that your future is secure. Because I know that I put you guys through hell with what we watch together. But it's not as awful as the day that these two are having, clearly. This is for education for people who don't get it, who don't understand. And I would understand if if this was a lot, but equally, I want folks to know um, folks. that we that we're doing this because this really matters um, to, to get this education out there. And the final thing we're going to show is a 30 second clip. Um, Brace yourself. Of Matt Brace, Walsh. Yourself. Brace yourself. My new goal should be to like have one of my videos played at like a corporate town hall. And I could be shunned for that. I think it'd be kind of fun. That's when I will know that I've made it. Of Matt Walsh reading his book. Mommy, Mommy was told was to take... Told to oh, I'm going to cut off. Never mind. That video is on YouTube if you want to see Matt reading the book. That was a train wreck. But obviously, 
it worked out for Matt. He ended up being on Tucker last night. The book shot up to number one. I think What Is Woman is still number one. I can't wait to see what's happening in Amazon right now. They're probably having a meltdown. That man started crying when it was at number four. The man's probably just having a day off for himself. Self-care, you know? I went through the comments on... um. And libs of TikTok who posted it. I'm glad somebody else caught this. He says, does a man even belong in this conversation? Says the man dominating the conversation. Yes, with a man sitting next to him. Take a look in the mirror, pal. Transgender Amazonians is my new favorite phrase. <laughs> How many transgender Amazonians are there? I'd have to know. They need to worry less about the most accomplished LGBTQIAP plus authors and more about their public speaking skills because that seminar was atrocious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. The Disney people had more charisma than that man. Never go for retard. This is bad vibes all around. I'm sorry, but isn't 75% of Amazon's business selling Chinese crafted garbage made by exploited workers? Yes, all of these posturing progressive corporations, they are incredibly hypocritical. When it comes to all of their overseas operations, they say one thing to American audiences to bend a knee to the left and its crazy ideology. But then when it comes to their operations overseas, these mega corporations, they, they cut LGBTQ scenes out of movies for Chinese and Middle Eastern audiences. They exploit workers. They use labor camps. They turn a blind eye to the Uyghur camps. And then they just come back to America and pretend like they're not doing any of that. And then they change their logo to have a rainbow flag and everybody applauds them and says, oh my God, you are the beacon of light, hope, humanity, and equity. Like, give me a break. It's all posturing. It is all fake. These corporations, they don't actually care about your social justice agenda. They do it for money because it is profitable in the United States. And that's the sad part, is that our society has fallen so far that that kind of bullshit is what sells. They know that, and it's making the money. It's atrocious. Maybe Elon needs to buy Amazon. Do you wanna be the only person that is not caught up on the internet's latest chaos? I don't think so. So make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any comment section content.